my wonderful viewers welcome to my platform good morning good afternoon good evening depending on your location or whenever you are making this video if it is your first time and you like what i do in this platform after watching please subscribe put on your notification bell that notification bell is very very important because it will enable you to know when i upload a new video in this channel i talk about life in germany yes i give information to those who want to know more about germany either to come here to work to spread or even to do business i talk about motherhood yes i help women who are fighting fertility i give them my idea by helping them to calculate their ovulation so that they could conceive i do vlog sometimes i take you around germany to show you interesting and educational places and i will be throwing in my lifestyle so in today's video i want to share with you my experience being a mother in germany so if you want to know my experience how i felt or how i'm still feeling up to this moment being a mother bringing up children in germany so the tuned. number one experience is when i was pregnant for my first issue you know i started having craving for african food <laughs> then i came to germany newly you know i was still battling or struggling to master their food to know how to adapt to the food and boom i became pregnant and before you know it i started craving for african food especially there is this local african food they call about if you're a nigerian you should know this this was the first thing that i was craving for you know when you are pregnant newly and especially you have this problem of uh, craving for food if you do not eat it it will look as if the whole world the whole world have come to end then i was craving for it i was searching for it trying to see where i can buy it and by then i haven't discovered any african shop around me i was asking my husband please i want to eat abacha where can i get this abacha if if you present any German food to me, then it will be like a hell. I will say, what is this? So <laughs> that was my first experience, you know. I was craving more of African food, and this African food is nowhere to be found. And that was my and first again. My second experience in that pregnancy is this. You know, in Africa, once you are pregnant newly, especially if it is your first issue, if you become pregnant, you will have a lot of people around you, helping you, cooking for you. But then those things are nowhere to be found. I was like a lost ship in a foreign land. <laughs> so um, this is my experience, you know, uh, if you are a new mother in Germany, or maybe you just arrived Germany, trust me, you are going to feel the same way. Except if you are used to foreign food, but if you are not used to foreign food, my dear, wait for it when you become pregnant, or maybe you don't have craving for food. Pray that you don't have craving for food, especially for African food. If not, you will see yourself going back to Africa to bring food when you become pregnant. So my second experience of being a mother in germany is now when the baby arrives hey, hey this is another work another big work and big experience that broadened my heart that broadened my mind you know germany is totally different from that of african culture normally in africa i am going to be using nigeria where i come from so when a woman give birth newly your mother will be there to help you for at least three to six months one she will be helping you to massage your stomach cooking for you taking care of the baby because in africa we believe in feeding our baby with natural milk that is breastfeeding unlike here most people prefer milk and you know when a baby takes milk it holds their body for a very long time but in africa in nigeria especially we do what is called exclusive whereby the baby will be breastfeeding for this to all my children so your mother will be there cooking for you because you know when a baby is taking only milk it and makes the baby to be hungry often so you need to be breastfeeding both morning afternoon at night you will not sleep very well so the essence of your mother being there for you up to this moment is to assist you at least at night you might not sleep very well because you'll be waking up to be breastfeeding your baby so during the day you can sleep while your mother take care of your baby 
and um, cook for you, massage your body. But all these things are not found here. You see my experience. So when I, the first time I became pregnant, I was expecting to get help. In the morning, my husband would dress off to work and tell you, bye bye, see you later in the evening. You'll be left alone. <laughs> so when I give birth again, it become more hell. I was like, what is this? What type of culture is this? No helper. Even um, at night, I wouldn't sleep very well. In the morning when you wake up, you continue from where you stop. Nobody to assist you. You have to do everything by yourself. When my baby started growing up, if you want to go to toilet, you need to carry the baby to the toilet. Anything you are doing, anywhere you are going, you need to go with your baby. Nobody to Another help. experience I have as a mother in Germany is this. Although it's difficult, very, very difficult for you to do all those things by yourself, but trust me, it's very, very good because it helps you to know your children more. It helps you to bring your children up the way you want it. I can give you an example of this. In Nigeria, I'm using Nigeria because this is where I come from. If I say Africa, I don't know how other countries in Africa do their own, but I'm using my country's experience. In Nigeria, when a woman marries, if your husband happens to be rich, you have to have house help, people that will be helping you, cooking, sweeping the house, doing all those things. You will be madam. You know, you will not be doing, you will not be more stressful. They will, before you wake up in the morning, they will bet your children, take, take them to school, bring them home, come home, sweep house, do this. Your only job is to be there, answering madam or maybe... If you can do, the, the responsible one can only cook while the husband does the remaining things. But here, it enables you to have that parental interaction with your kids. You know, you know what they are capable of. You know what they are doing. You see to their development. Some parents do not even, in Africa, they do not even know what their child is good in doing. They don't even know what their children does at any given point. But here, since you are alone with your children, you should be able to tell their story. If they, if they ask you what is your children good at doing, you should be able to defend them because you train them by yourself. If they use any how words, you should know where it comes from, that you are the one that, that is using it. But if it is in a situation whereby you have a house help, when your child uses a wrong word, you'll be blaming the house help. You are the one saying this. I don't know if anybody out there is getting me. I find it very good and interesting. Although when I came newly, it wasn't easy for me because I wasn't brought up with this type of culture, doing everything alone being in a lonely environment you know social life in nigeria we interact with each other we look after each other you know we do, we do all things in common but here it's not like that everybody mind their business if you need a help you must pay for it um and it's not even coming often but <laughs> in nigeria you can get help anyhow you want it so being a mother in germany my first experience, I will not lie to you, wasn't easy. It wasn't easy and funny for me, but now it's easy and I like it. I like it. At least you will keep your things anywhere you keep it. When you come back, you will get it. Not when you keep something, maybe your house help or any other person living with you will come and take it and uh, keep it somewhere else. You'll be looking for it. You'll be asking, where is your kid? Have my kids eaten? What are they doing? What do they do? What happens to them? No. Now you are the chief on your own. You give account of what your children does because you are with them alone. Trust me, if you are in Nigeria and you haven't tried living alone with your kids, please try. No matter. I know it's not easy. And train your children to be whom they want to become done with the help of house help. Because sometimes if you are unfortunate to have a bad house help, whatever that house help does, that is exactly what your children will do. In other way around, you have destroyed, spoiled the future of your children by bringing in another person to live with you. It's very difficult to bring them up alone, but very enjoyable and very good. Please try it. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you are a mother in Germany, please can you share your own experience in the comment section <laughs> so that we will know how you feel. Did you have um, food craving, especially those of Africa, like I did when I came here and when I became pregnant for the first time, I was craving heavily for African food. <laughs> but now I'm used to it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, share, and leave your comment in the comment section until I meet your way again. You have been true, and hey, not let me. I'll never forget you, I'll never care.